Welcome back. Recently, one of you in the comments on the one of the previous puzzle solving videos suggested that I solve puzzles by theme rather than just going through the random selection that is automatically presented to you. Now, I don't know if that person meant that I should do that in order to practice um, you know, certain specific themes that I'm weak on or whether that person meant I should do it for a video or whether they meant do a tutorial on how to use that page. So I'm gonna try to combine all of that into one here. Okay, uh, the way that you get to this page where it lists the themes on the side is you hover on the left over puzzles and then click on custom puzzles. And that will take you, uh, I believe, to this page here. And you can choose puzzles I have failed. Oh, you can't see the drop down list. Sorry about that. But if you click here on the all puzzles, a little drop down box pops up and it suggests either all puzzles or puzzles I have failed. And then in the rating range, it just, I guess, lets you type in the rating range. So I'm going to start with a really low rating range and just say 100 to 600 rated puzzles. And then to select themes, uh, whoops, that popped up an entirely new page. Sorry about that. Down here where it says all themes are selected, you can choose, for example, mate in one. And that's, I know it's hidden behind my camera view, but you can select the drop down. I mean, you can uncheck all themes up at the top and then go down the list and select whatever theme you want. And then down at the bottom, there's a big green button that says start. So you can click that and it should give me a low rated made in one puzzle. And I'll do a couple of these and then see uh, here. I think this is obvious. We will just take that. And these are all going to be unrated. Um, the only way that I know of to get rated puzzles for your actual puzzle rating is just to click on the normal uh, puzzles over on the left and just select puzzles and start and that way you do not get to select the rating of the puzzle or the theme it's going to be random uh, although the rating of the puzzle is usually close to your puzzle rating within a certain range okay so I'm gonna click the next button and get a different made in one puzzle it should also be low rated and because they're low rated most of these are going to be fairly easy um, there's going to be either a battery lined up next to the king um, the only thing is I had to check this diagonal to make sure that the queen wasn't covering that square and just quick glance around to make sure that there wasn't, you know, a rook over here or a bishop pointing at that square. Uh, click next. And this, it looks like it's going to be the same thing. The opponent has blundered and no longer guards this. And because we're not in check, we can go ahead and checkmate right there. Okay. I'm not sure how to get back to the, is it clicking this goes back to the, to the settings page, yes, okay. I'm getting better at figuring out how to navigate this. Okay, so let's, uh, we're gonna stick with the small rating range, but I'm gonna select mate in two instead of mate in one and see what that looks like. Okay, here it looks like if I check with my queen down here on B7, uh, the king will have to go to the back rank and then this will be mate. I assume a lot of these are gonna be back rank mates or something like that there the king had no other choice because our king covered our queen covered the other getaway square um, next this one looks a little harder for me however I think that uh, we have a check here and the rook, the king will not be able to go this way because of our pawn and of course can't come this way because of our rook down here and our bishop will be cutting that square off behind the king. So the only option will be to block with this rook and then we will take it. Made in two, okay. And again, I selected lower rated ones so these sh uh, should be fairly easy. And then I'll select a couple of other categories and see what the, the answer there is. Okay, this, we are playing with the white pieces. Uh, made in two, I believe it's going to be a check on the back rank, which forces the king up here, and then our pawn will deliver the mating, the actual mate there on g6, because our queen guards the pawn from there. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. I'm going to go up to a, first I'm going to go up to a slightly higher range, let's say 1800 to 2200, but we're going to stick with uh, mate in one and see if what's what a really hard mate in one looks like. Okay, and this one should be really hard according to the, uh, that doesn't look very difficult because I think that's mate there. Okay, and I said that one was rated 1800. Maybe there aren't that many mate in ones with a high rating. 
or maybe I've just done so many of these that few of the mates in ones are going to be difficult. Okay, here, this is supposedly a mate in one. I'm gonna guess it's this knight coming here because the, the, my rook cuts off this whole file and the enemy doesn't have anything guarding that square. So that's check and mate. And see one more supposedly difficult one. I'm playing with the white pieces. Here I'm just seeing that my rook cuts off all these squares and my pawn cuts off these. Uh, and the enemy has nothing guarding f5 other than the king. But because of my pawn protecting that square, then my queen will cut off this one. So that should be checkmate as well. It says that one was rated 2153. Okay, back to the thing. And let's, let's go back to an easier rating range. Maybe not as easy as the first one that I gave. Let's say uh, 800 to 1200. And then I will select uh, fork double attack and click start. And this puzzle should be, the best move here should be a fork double attack. Okay. Um, normally the first thing that I look for is checks, and this is the first check that I see. I mean, I did see this first, but I, I'm pretty sure that's not it. I think our queen checking here wins the rook. And even though after we win the rook, the opponent can take this pawn and check us, I think we'll be fine. Our king can hide behind our rook at that point, so I think the puzzle will end once we take the rook. Oh, they moved back, so... Oh, they had to move back. Okay. Well, that was also a mate. Uh, a checkmate in two puzzle. But it was a fork. Yeah, our rook was cutting off these squares, so the king had to go back. So it wasn't just a fork, it was a mate. Okay. This one should be a fork double attack oh it says I've still selected made in one I forgot to unselect it okay um, well that makes it hard then because it might be a made in one uh, let's see what is our best move we do have a couple of checks but I mean that loses to the pawn I think this doesn't fork anything it wins a pawn, but then the king just moves out of check one way or the other. What about this? Is, that's, that's checkmate, isn't it? No, it's not because the opponent can block. Okay. Well, we win a pawn and that's, well, no, they can't block because it's double check. I think that might be a mate. Yeah, because that's check and this is check. Okay. Well, I meant to unselect the mate in one and just do the forks and double attacks, which is what my viewer had suggested. Okay, so this should just be a fork or double attack. Okay. I think we can fork the knight and the rook by moving our dark squared bishop back to d6, which will hit these two. The only, I, I don't see any way for them to defend the knight so I assume at that point they would move the rook. I just don't know where. And because we know, this is one reason I don't normally do puzzles like this is because I know what the theme is. In a game, I'm not gonna know that I need to look for a fork. So I also have to check for uh, checkmates. I have to check for, do I need to defend certain pieces? Uh, like this pawn is undefended, for example. Uh, do I need to defend the pawn? I, you know. Uh, whereas, because I selected one category, I know it's fork double attack. So I'm going to look for forks. That turns out to be the best. Okay, so they took my bishop instead of moving the rook. I guess that's better because that way they're just down an exchange instead of uh, just down a piece. Oh, there's it's still going. Okay, well, I think I can just take the knight now. Okay. Honestly, I expected when I moved my bishop here, I expected the rook to take the pawn and just lose the knight. But this way, it, this way they lost. I lost a bishop right here, and they lost a rook and a knight and a pawn, and I lost a pawn. So I lost a pawn and a bishop for two pieces. Okay, and uh, let's go back to the thing and look at uh, desperado is one of the categories. And I will uncheck the fork. So now we're only looking at desperados. 
but it says there's only one puzzle in uh oh no that's seeing how many i've done in this category it says i failed the only one that i tried okay well let's check it and click start okay white to move and it's a desperado um well i mean in a game here i would probably just trade off that bishop or the knight Let's see, what would I do first? I like the knight because it it exposes this queen here, but that puts a rook on this square, which makes this move more dangerous. So when they attack my queen, I can then take the rook with check and then win the king back. So I'm gonna take the bishop first. Okay, see, this was a low rated puzzle and I failed it. All right. Well, let's start over and uh, was it taking the knight first? It was taking the knight first. And then do I save the knight with check? No, that doesn't save the knight. What about taking the bishop with check? When they take back, I can take their queen and then I will have their rooks through here. Okay, now I take the queen. Okay, and now it doesn't matter which rook they move. Okay, well, see, I learned something there. And uh, if I click next, will I get another Desperado? Okay. Hmm. I don't, don't think I have any good checks. I mean, we can trade off this piece, but that, that doesn't do anything, right? What's, uh, what's my plan here? Apparently we found a category I'm not very good at. And maybe I should, maybe I should uh, work on this theme for a little while because you saw I selected a relatively low rating range compared to my puzzle. I, I selected 800 to 1200, I think. And I have no idea what to do in this position. Um, that piece is defended. That piece is defended. It would just be a trade. I assume the queen would go back there. And then once that happened, oh, this, this knight's undefended. So maybe I should take that. And then when the queen retakes, then I should take the knight. Okay, they've come after my queen in order to defend the knight, which makes sense. Um, but I think, hmm, I can check here. I mean, I could just move the queen out of the way, but then my knight's hanging, right? So I can protect my knight with the check. The king then has to move, and then I can put my queen somewhere. That's my idea. I don't know if it's right. Oh, that was right, and then it ends there. Okay, I'm guessing the reason that it ended there is because after the king moved, there are multiple safe spaces for my queen, like here or there, and probably the computer would have counted them about the same, is my guess. So, okay. And uh, I'll do one more Desperado since I clearly need work on this. Um, okay. Well, one thing I notice is that the bishop is pinned, but not for long because my queen is under attack, so I probably should move my queen. Um, but this pawn is undefended, and their queen is hanging. That pawn is undefended. There's a lot going on here. Okay. If I save my queen, if I try to save my queen, I'm going to lose a rook. So for example, if I went, well, no, if I go there, I'm gonna lose a bishop, whoops, a bishop first, 
and then the rook, probably. So my idea is to take the queen, then when they take my queen, then I take the pawn too. I don't know if that's right. It was not. Okay, so what was what was my, my grand scheme, my grand plan here? I have no idea. It was to take the bishop. Take the bishop with check. Ah, the check, yes, okay, that makes sense because they have to take back so then I get their queen. Okay, well I need work on the desperados. Let's try one more theme here and I will raise the range uh, let's say 1500 to 1800 uncheck desperado and let's say uh, I don't want to do another mating thing but let's say opposition and it says uh, there as you can see I've had 60 rated attempts at opposition I don't know if that's within this rating range, probably not, probably overall in this category. And it says, I have failed 27 and passed 33. Let's click start. Okay, this should be an opposition related puzzle or themed puzzle in the whatever I selected, 1500 to 1800 range. Well, I cannot gain the opposition right now because their pawns control those two squares. I cannot get in there. I can, however, remove this pawn by attacking their C pawn, by capturing their C pawn here. If they take back, then I will gain the opposition. And that was easier to figure out because I knew the theme. Um, here, if I don't take that, they're going to go past and I can't catch it. So I think I have to take it and then if they take back, I get their pawn, and I should have this. If I move forward, they go, and I can't catch it, right? If I do something else, like move here, they go, and I can't catch it. So I have to take. Okay. Um, and we'll do one more. Okay. Eh doesn't make sense to not capture that rook does it I assume they've just captured mine that's what was there if I capture the rook um, they're not gonna bring their pawn forward because I would capture that and be guarding my pawn so I assume after I capture it that they're going to bring their king and I'm gonna need to guard my pawn with my king but yeah the first move has to be taking the rook Okay, they did bring their king. And because of the opposition, which we know is the theme of the puzzle, I can't get in here to guard my pawn that way. And of course I can't get in here to guard my pawn because their pawn guards that square. Um, and if I go anywhere else besides h4, they're gonna get next to my pawn and take it. So I think I, I have to go to h4 and not, nothing else makes sense. Pushing the pawn doesn't help because they catch it. Okay, and now I take their pawn. My pawn's cutting off this square. But if I take their pawn, they're going to come here and have the opposition. But then I think I can move forward. I just did a video about the rook pawns, but this isn't a rook pawn. So I think I just take their pawn. It's still not over. Okay, now I do know here if I move my pawn forward, they get in front of it. And we've we've talked about this before in some of my training videos. I have to move my king forward. And then as close as they can get is here. But then I move my king here, and then it doesn't matter which way they go. Right. And normally, yeah, I, I think nothing else makes sense, right? Moving my pawn forward doesn't make sense because then they can get in the corner, and I think they can get a stalemate here somehow. Yeah. Now I have the opposition, and here, if they move to the side, I would move to this side. And if they move to that side, I would go this way, and then I would guard all the squares down to promotion. Okay, well, I can see how this is good, and now just by me trying it, we've learned that I'm weak at the, the puzzles that have the Desperado theme. So that may be something that I can practice. But if you know that you're weak at a certain thing, feel free to 
again puzzles on the left and then custom puzzles to arrive at this page and you can set the rating range you can i suppose can set it from 100 to 2500 or i don't know what the i don't know what the upper limit is it doesn't say um and then select any theme that you want and i'm gonna can i yeah you can just above my camera view here you can see that some of the themes are advanced checkmates alakine's gun attacking the castled king back rank basic checkmates battery bishop pair and so on there's there's a whole list here in alphabetical order that just goes and goes all the way down to a couple of german words zugzwang and zweichensung i i don't speak german i have no idea what those how those are supposed to be pronounced down here at the bottom there's also vulnerable king under promotion windmill i do like windmills let me try that before i quit I'm, I like real windmills as well as metaphorical ones in chess. Normally the windmill is where you can put the king in check and then when it moves out of check you can move that piece to capture something and the other piece puts it in check again so it has to move back where the first piece can check it again. Usually a rook and a bishop but I don't see that, that happening here so it's something else. Uh, not sure not sure to be honest with you because i would have a fork if uh if that knight wasn't there i know that so that oh it's because i'm st i still have opposition selected too i forgot to unselect it but yeah i have no idea what this is i do like the idea of taking the knight so if they take back then i would have a fork but i wouldn't win the queen right yeah, so I, I have no idea what the answer here is. And it doesn't look like what I was taught is a windmill. Um, but my knight's hanging. So, yeah, I have no idea. I'm just going to click the hint button. It was taking the knight. Oh, uh, and then that, and then the fork. It was the, oh, and, oh, because the king was in check too. Oh, my. Nope, not that. Wow. That? Oh, because, it, okay, because it happens twice. Because now when the king moves, I win the queen. Okay. That makes sense. That's not normally what I thought of as the windmill, or what I was taught was the windmill. I, I honestly think that that, uh, that puzzle is misthemed, which is something I talk about in my other puzzle-solving videos, why I always check the theme after I solve a puzzle, because sometimes they're wrong, and then when you go to do this kind of practice, choosing a theme... You don't get it. Okay, this is the one that I was talking about. The bishop and the rook. I This might be the same puzzle that was in the training video that I watched on the windmill. What, what you do is you check, which forces them to move the king. Well, then you can put that rook anywhere, and it's checked from the bishop. I mean, as long as you don't move the rook here, because then they'll take it. So, like, check, and they have to move the king. So now I can take this pawn and they can't take me back because it's check again. So like check and they, oh, they tried to block with the bishop. Okay. I assume we just take it and they move back. And now I can check them again. Okay, and here they have to move again. Then you can take another piece with check. Uh, or in this case, once they move again, you can just pull the rook back and it's made. Okay. Well, anyway, if for those of you who hadn't tried the themed puzzles before or selecting puzzles by theme, um, that's what that's about. And uh, maybe you can do what I just did, try a couple of random themes and then see if there's one that, you, that you're weak on. Like I discovered that I was weak on the Desperados. I'm going to widen the weight the rating range from 100 to 1800 and i've selected desperado and uncheck windmill and start and see what happens okay this is a desperado puzzle i i'm tempted whoops i'm tempted to take the knight with check because that discovers this attack on the queen but then the queen would just take the knight back wouldn't it um and then i wouldn't have anything 
that I can see I'm really not sure like it, it's but we know the theme is Desperado so is it taking the Rook but then what would I have when they took back nothing yeah I have no idea so you yeah definitely uh, Desperado is my weak point in an actual game here what would I do I think that's what I would do we're relatively even or exactly even on material are we not I think I would just take the knight and they would take it and then oh wait or is it this what does the queen do then oh no then the, then the queen just takes this this knight for free well I have no idea yeah that wasn't it so I definitely need to work on my Desperados. Uh, let's click the hint button. It was the knight, but it wasn't taking the knight. Was it taking the bishop? It was taking the bishop and losing... Oh, I didn't lose my queen, though. I'm still guarding my queen. I guess... Oh, I got the bishop. I got, I got an extra bishop. Okay, sorry, it took me a second. But that one also had other themes here listed. Desperado attack, hanging piece, x-ray attack. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, this video went just a little longer than I thought it would be, but I had no idea what it was going to happen because the puzzles are just given to you. But it's different than the rated puzzles uh, where you're given these at random. I think, honestly, I prefer the rated random puzzles... Um, number one, I know they're going to be close to my ra my rating range. So if right now my puzzle rating is about 2300. So I know that the puzzles I'm going to get are going to be anywhere from about 1900 to 20, I guess 2500. I've seen a few times. And but the type of puzzle, the theme is going to be random. I don't know if it's a made in three. I don't know if it's some sort of Zook Schwing or Desperado or uh, end game where it's just king and pawns. Because I think I like that better because I think I need to work on all of them, all of the types. And also in a game, you never know if you're looking for a mate right now or a hanging piece or an x-ray or a fork or any of those things. And so you have to look around the board looking for all of those things. And that's one reason I guess I prefer the random puzzles. Um, but this is definitely good too. And now I've discovered another weak point in my chess game. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.